And next up, see, Mark, we got Roshan Johnson. This is a guy that was came in as a kind of a dual threat quarterback, converted to running back because they had no running back depth at Texas. And he put up some good numbers. He was third on that team. I know we got to mention Keontae Ingram. We got to mention Sam Ellinger. But I like what he's able to do. Now it's just about him becoming a true running back instead of becoming a, instead of being a picker. Well, that's true, but he has some natural ability. We're going to see it right here. He's going to press the hole, but watch his patience and vision. And then when he makes a jump cut right there, he's able to get north quickly. And, you know, you can see his play speed. This guy's got a second gear when he gets through the hole. And I think that's where he's going to add some more speed to that element of the offense. Yeah, I, I think you're spot on when you talk about his play speed and his explosiveness. Uh, that's why this play right here is on is on there because once he makes up his mind, he's ready to go. I think he should make his mind up a little bit quicker at times, but once mm -hmm. he makes up his mind and he decides to go, he's gone. He's got juice. I mean, this is this is what you want. He is a straight line speed guy. So if you give him a little crease, he could take it the distance. And so I think what they want to do in, in their offense is get him to the second level and let him go to work because this guy is going to get to the end zone quite a bit for Texas. Yeah, I like that. And I, I like that explosive. I mean, this is a play. I mean, this guy goes, he covers, goodness, he covers 20 yards in the drop of a dime, right? This He's gone. Once the ball's in his hands at 17 yards, he's already into the end zone in four steps because he's got a long stride. And he's got that ability to go out and make plays. So I think that's going to be huge for him. The other thing I like about him is he's growing into that ability to break tackles. I think it's something that when you convert from quarterback to running back, I think a lot of guys, it takes them a little while to realize how they have to run, how they have to operate. This is running, and I hate to say this, but running back isn't about saving your body. Running, about, <laughs> running back is about running through contact. Quarterback is a little bit more about saving your body. But now he's getting into that mentality of, I got to get this guy off me, get this guy off me. Then you see that explosiveness, and he's working on improving consistently as a guy who can break tackles. And then there's some little subtleties that we'd have to talk about, switching the ball to the outside arm. Wish we would have saw him oh, do yeah. it that just then. But he's got some tools to work with. Now we get to see him in the pass game, just slip him out in the, in the essentially a wheel route, get him out working on a linebacker. What I noticed in watching the tape is he's got enough speed that he eats up angles. It's hard for guys to get to him in coverage, and that's why we could see a play like this work so successfully. Yeah, I, I totally agree with his ability to to outrun angles, especially you can put a linebacker on this guy. He's gonna he's gonna blow by yeah. you if the th like he like you don't. He, it's a first down. This was a this was always going to be a first down. And then we look at the last play that we have here on the tape, and you watch the way that he plays. His I, I love this. He's willing to block. Because I think he knows how important mm -hmm. it is to protect your quarterback as a guy that played some quarterback. And then let's make something else happen. And you mentioned that subtlety, right? The changing of the hands with the ball. We get it here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, he figured it out. But that's a guy that's learning at the position, which is exactly what you want. He knows he's oh, yeah. coming into a dangerous zone. So he switches the ball to the outside arm, which is smart. It tells me that a guy is learning. He's thinking on his feet. And, and being there for his quarterback, ready to help bail him out of trouble here and make a play, he's able to get the first down. But look at it. You know, he's going to continue to evolve and to grow and to learn more. But right now, you, he's got a lot of tools that you can work with, so they got to be excited about that at Texas. Yeah, I, I think it like him hanging in that pocket to try to make sure that nobody came as a free runner to the quarterback and then recognizing, okay, now I've got to turn around and see – where the and be available to my quarterback and listen they say it all the time right we talk about it when it comes to injury we also talk about it when it comes to being open availability is the best ability that you can have <laughs> when it comes to being in, playing in the pass game and he has that so c mark i'm going to give you kind of the final last thoughts real quick give me quick some some quick thoughts texas with eagles with johnson ingram you throw in ellinger this is a team that a lot of folks should expect to contend for the big 12 title yay or nay yeah, I think they're going to be in the conversation for sure. Now, that's a lot of explosive, you know, firepower on offense. Can they stop people on defense and get off the field? That's going to be one of the things they're measured on. But this team's going to put up a lot of points. They have size and they have speed, which is a great combination for that offense.